My name is Charlene Mikwe, and I'm a consultant with Development Gateway. Visualizing insights on fertilizer for African agriculture, also known as VIFA, was designed to holistically address the supply, demand, and the use of fertilizer data at both the country and regional levels. It's our hope uh, that all stakeholders get to use a dashboard and it may shape the fertilizer industry in Kenya. Over the years, we've also come to understand that uh, we've had limited use of the fertilizer data that has been available. And this is owing to the fact that uh, information was not out there in terms of uh, how to access this information, where this information could be found, as well as not having a very well-structured uh, well or interactive uh, website. Um, to answer this question, there was the development of the VIFAR, uh, VIFAR program, which is Visualizing Insights on Fertilizer, on fertilizer in African Agriculture. And in developing VIFAR, the main aim was to use existing data that has been collated by AfricaFertilizer.org as well as other partner organizations to be able to better visualize this data, to be able to promote uh, accessibility and, and uh, information on the availability of this data as well as getting the, the data to be used for decision making. Previously, most of the information is, uh, is what you glean from the press. And um, the press doesn't, a lot of what is reported in the press is not very accurate and it's also not very timely. And which also means it is not in uh, the, the, the information concerning the fertilizer industry is not aggregated in one, say, pullout where you'd say every week on Tuesdays there's a special pullout that deals with agriculture issues. A lot of policy shifts are probably done uh, as a by the way when government uh, minister is discussing something else like food security then somewhere in between there'll be one paragraph on oh yeah uh, we will do the following on the fertilizer in future so unless you are very sensitive and very keen to follow every pronouncement coming out from the government you will miss a lot of these things so currently what we do is that we either call carry out and pay for a study or we do scooping work where we talk to various actors in the market and I try to analyze the information that we're getting from the market. We have the agriculture sector transformation and growth strategy where we are focusing on supporting about 3.3 uh, uh, million high needs household with uh, what we call the inputs incentives and one of the most important thing is for us to be able to see, to see the prices so that we can be able to uh, budget properly and uh, in this case, uh, prepare properly. The, the Dutch board in this case will also assist in terms of uh, ensuring as part of the Abuja declaration, whereby we have been, uh, we talked about the issue of promoting access so that we can see increased use of fertilizer then it is actually helpful and will assist us when it comes to the issues of knowing where the, the fertilizer is being used, which specific crops that uh, the various people or the various stakeholders, in this case the farmers, are focusing the use of uh, a crop. And then we can be able to come up with various inter interventions when it comes to the issue of promoting fertilizer use. The potential for fertilizer use is about 1.2 mil, uh, million metric tons. But when you look at the issues of uh, apparent fertilizer consumption, sometimes you'll talk about 620 uh, uh, metric tons of uh, 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 620,000 metric tons of various fertilizers. And sometimes it can go up to around 820,000 metric tons. So this dashboard will actually assist us in being precise. Uh, the national fertilizer, like uh, what is the share of the subsidy going down, what is, the, and also what is the mix of the fertilizer that are available to the market. That's a good indicator for me on the, the growth and the transformation of the fertilizer market. Because if the market is only very linear in terms of products available to the farmer, it means that we are not moving from the conventional fertilizer. So the most important to me will be the national data. Uh, what segment is subsidy, because uh, that's more on policy issues. Uh, what segment is crop specific fertilizer or 
brands and what uh, <coughs> what uh, percentage are we getting as conventional fertilizers? First, we hope to get the information on where, like the source of our products and where are the availability of the products on real time so as to be able to benefit both fertilizer industries, the government and even the farmers. The, the crucial role at the top of the supply chain as as the agents entails that we get to get, have the first-hand information right before it, it trickles down to to the farmers. We also intend to use the availability of the trends to help us predict the market and make advanced decisions in the interest of the farmer so that to avoid shortages and to avail fair pricing commodities. We also intend to use the dashboard to know the uh, domestic selling prices, also considering the considering that the government gives um, subsidy to to farmers so we also intend to use the the dashboard to help us know how much uh, the government is going to provide versus how much um, fertilizer our stake like our percentage what percentage we need to occupy after what the government has given and what our competitors has given the platform will be a big uh, help in the sense that you now don't, even for us, I think once we see the kind of data that is available at the, at the platform, we don't have, for example, to go out and collect data that is available anyway. We can now just focus on the analytical part of it. Once we carry out our analysis, um, of course, as researchers, we will develop papers, but one of the mandate of the Institute is to inform policy. Uh, we usually package uh, the, the research findings uh, to be able to target a, a wide cross-section of policy makers. So this includes, for example, members of parliament, uh, bureaucrats within the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, to try and convey the message that you're finding from, from our analysis. The good thing uh, with this kind of tool is that once, for example, you're able to pick out um, some some data, uh, some nice graphs. Uh, we can actually develop infographs that uh, we can actually present to the policymakers, uh, and this is very useful, especially because a member of parliament is not going to sit down and read through a report. When you have graphs that convey the message, that is much simpler to communicate. As a private uh, business, um, main interest in uh, the information displays is to get as accurate as possible information on international prices, that is the FOB pricing, uh, capture any changes or the trends in the international global markets, uh, because all the fertilizer being used in Kenya has an important component. So it is very important for business people to anticipate where the global uh, trends for fertilizer are moving. So as you make, to make a decision on when uh, to do your procurements and do importations. Secondly, uh, it also has uh, some very important and say updated information on the price trends in the local market. Again, that, that guides our marketing. Um, it is such a big way of increasing the collaboration between the government and the private sector in the sense that it will help the uh, both the government and the private sector know uh, first the quantity needed within the country and also per region ig per county we will know how much fertilizer it's needed for each county then that will help the government in their budgeting and also help them know how much subsidy they need to give and leaving out what then the importers are supposed to bring in. This therefore helps us as an agent to know how much fertilizer we need to bring in per year. The way that the, the, the platform currently is developed, it actually helps um, a wide cross-section of users, including farmers. 
Uh, we do have knowledgeable farmers who are interested to know, for example, prices of different fertilizers, uh, the nutrient content, as well as uh, the, the distribution, the market prices, how the market prices uh, build up. Uh, but one of the key, I would say, important things for farmers, and especially farmers who are able to access the platform, uh, will actually they will actually be able to see what is available within the markets. Uh, currently, there is no way farmers can know uh, which fertilizer is available and which one is not. But once the platform is updated and is running smoothly, uh, with the click of a button, a farmer can actually look within the areas within his reach, uh, which kind of fertilizers are there. Currently, there's a lot of push uh, to encourage farmers to undertake soil testing. And once they get to know which nutrients they need to know, it's easy for them now to actually see what is available in the market and at what price. It should be a process that, or, or a dashboard that um, is alive to market realities. So even after the launch, that there should be a provision for us to continue improving on it. Because we'll be talking about data that is evidence-based. Because everything has to be evidence-based. We can say the dashboard will give us information that we can actually use when it comes to the, the, the decision making. You see, if you look at the data, uh, the key importance of data is to make important decisions at all levels. The government will make a decision on uh, what is appropriate for what region. And uh, every time we talk about maybe the subsidy, uh, most of the time we'll talk about that uh, we are trying to push the prices down. So if you have the historical data, we'll see whether that has uh, had an impact on the, the prices. And, and also looking at the data, you'll be able to see what are the, money, uh, the margins that uh, the private sector is getting because it's open data. You'll be able to see what is the FOC, what are they buying? and uh, what are the other cost buildup uh, coming to all the way to the farmer. And if you look at the farmer level, they will be able to know what is available for them to choose from. Is, is it broadening the, the choice? The whole system will always benefit from the data.